Um, fuck. Neuronymous. Hello, my fellow neurotics. This is Hal with another episode of Neuronymous. I am extremely excited about this episode. It's take quite a, taken quite a pers- bit of persistence to get uh, our amazing guest on this show, uh, <clears throat> uh, Ali Sultan. Uh, he's a great stand-up comedian. He, uh, he's been performing for a long time. He's originally from Yemen. Uh, and... Uh, just a hilarious guy, and uh, you know, I'll be honest. A few months ago, I threw kind of a little shade his way because I, you know, he was interested in doing in the in, doing an interview, and then he wasn't do, in, interested in doing an interview. And I was just like, oh, oh, I get it. you're fucking big timing me now. Is that right? Is that how? Is that what's what's going on? Is that what? Is that it? But no, he's just he was busy recording a live album, and. Uh, I've, you know, had the opportunity to listen to that live album, which hits or drops, hits shelves or drops on the internet today, uh, and it is absolutely fucking hilarious. It's brilliant. It's called Happy to Be Here, um, and it just, it talks about, you know, being an immigrant, uh, it talks about Walmart, it talks about White Castle, it talks about, you know, just... Everything under the sun, and it's it's just it's it's an amazing album, and uh, if you get a chance to listen to it. But you know, uh, it's really quickly. Um, it's been a very interesting slash difficult week. Um, I had sort of a meltdown on uh, Monday. My I I I have this thing. Okay, I have this thing where like I'll buy a book or a Kindle book on Amazon. And then I'll be like, nah, I, I, I just don't think that's the right one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna return that one and then just get a different one. And I've gotten to the point on several occasions where I've returned books so many times that they've actually banned me from returning books. They've actually said, you've done it, you've done it too many times. Fuck you. No, we're not, we're not returning the book. So anyway, I had this weird thing right on Monday where I just, I got stuck in my head and the hamster wheel was going, my old, you know, good old hamster wheel. And, uh, so basically, uh, I just, uh, I had, I gave myself a panic attack. I had like a mini, this meltdown. And then, and then, you ready? My, uh, alcoholic father-in-law, who I love, make no mistake about it, I love my father-in-law, but he is an alcoholic, he's a drunk, um, as I've outlined in previous, le- previous episodes, um, and he, uh, he called me up and I never thought I'd ever actually hear another human being saying this, but basically he said, I've fallen and I can't get up. He'd fallen four times that day and he could not get up. And, uh, it turns out he is the one drunk that has actually fallen over and needed to be called, uh, have the EMS called because he was trying to stop drinking. Yes, yes, boys and girls. He has, he, he's, he's been trying to stop drinking on his own, so he says, uh, and that, and he has been having so many tremors and has had so many issues with his balance and moving around since, because you get the, 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 the shakes from not drinking from with, you know, alcohol withdrawals that he fell and he, we had to, I had to call 911. So that was fun, and uh, so there's that, and uh, and then later that night, my wife and I had an argument about me buying, <laughs> buying and returning so many things, and then trying, you know, doing this whole pre-ordering, th- trying to pre-order things in advance. Where I have this thing, okay, we ha- we kind of finally came to an agreement about a discretionary fund where I have twenty five dollars a month to do what I, as I see fit with, uh, and uh, I did this thing where I pre-ordered something for the next month. And my wife, Amanda, who you heard from last week, you know, she's, uh, she's a kind of a ball buster. She, she's, uh, but she, but I love her. I love her to death. Uh, she said, 
based about this whole you know pre-ordering thing. No, that's not fair. You're 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 breaking the rule. You're kind of buying something before you actually buy before it actually you know the the you know the new month comes. You know even though technically you don't get charged by Amazon until it actually ships. But but I get her point. So anyway, we had this whole back and forth about this, and that just ruined the evening. It's you know partly my fault. Um, you know, but it's just you know I'm sure the added stress of her father being having you know getting rushed to the hospital didn't help things. You know, so th- you know it is what it is, and we made it. You know, we we got through it, and and that's that's what's important. And uh, and I and looking giving myself some space and perspective, I kind of understand where she's talking about. You know, you can't just you know stick your hand into the cookie jar and and pick out cookies when there are no cookies yet. You know what I mean? That's it's just not the way it works. You know, it shouldn't be. So, uh, but yeah. So anyway, um, I am really excited that, uh, about this interview with uh, Ali. Uh, th- in fact, this is this is a, a kind of a, a milestone for this podcast. Um, I've taken it, you know, you know. To, on the road, you know, maybe a couple blocks before, you know, to my friend Stacy's place. Hey, Stacy, I love you. My BFF. Um, we did the inter- that interview, like, I think way early on in, like, November or December anyway. But, um, but no, I am actually, you know, at first, I, he was like, hey, let's do this interview. He finally agreed to it. I was like, yay! And then he was like, so where do you live? And I was like, yeah. He was like, where's your studio? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, my studio, uh, my studio is my house, and my house is in Mankato, Minnesota. Uh, and he was like, damn, shit, man, that's a long way. It was a long way away. And I was like, yeah, it is. And we were going to do a Skype interview, but I've kind of, I this is one where I really wanted to just do it in person, face to face, you know. I may do great, I may bomb, I talk to my shrink about it, and, uh, I mean, yeah, this is how, like, nervous I am about it, I, I actually talked to my shrink, and then he was like, oh, yeah, Ali Sultan, I know that guy, he's hilarious, I've been to his show, I was like, fuck, God, he knows who he is, too, God, so, but, so, anyway, getting back to that, uh, what I was saying is, I am taking the podcast on the road to Minneapolis, Total new thing, never happened before. Really stoked and excited about it, and um, and uh, you know, Ali's got his own podcast, so I might be out of my depth. I don't know. Uh, I'm really just excited that he uh, he's uh, uh, taking the time out of his day to talk to me. I'm assuming probably to promote his album as well as chat and you know it's it's not going to be much of an interview it's you know as always it's it's just much more of a chit chat and you know last week's interview is was more of an interview i don't usually like doing interviews i think they're too formal they're kind of like starchy and stiff um i like doing chit chats you know i like doing conversations and uh you know hopefully we'll we'll have a good conversation and uh you know i i you know i i uh, I'm just, I'm really, I feel very blessed that uh, Mr. Uh, Sultan has uh, agreed to do this, and I, I will uh, will be talking to him uh, shortly. Ali Sultan, how are we? What's up, Matt? Uh, hey, it's Hal. How? Hal. How what? H A. Oh fuck, dude. <laughs> I'm just fucking over. I know. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, because well, really, oh. before we started, you said I can roast you. You you did say that, and what's really funny is the fact that I fuck up everybody's. I'm notorious for fucking up everybody's name. Yeah. So like, I've been practicing. 
like literally on the road to mm. from Mankato to Minneapolis. You do so care. You do I, care. I care. I care. But I'm notorious for butchering everybody's name. Well, like, say mine again. Ali Sultan. Ali Sultan. That's pretty close. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Did I do all right? You did. You put the effort. I can feel it. Top notches. Love right. the hat, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The hat is my. I. I don't That's know. a cool hat. Where do you get it from? Um. Target. Target. There you go. <laughs> cool story. Strong start. Love yeah, this. Yeah. No. Right. So, uh, album dropped today. Today, man. Thanks for having me on, by the way. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, thanks thank for making for... the drive. How far was the drive? For it's, uh, it's about, it's, I, I'm not very good at distances, but it's about, about an hour and a half, two hours. An hour and a half, two hours? Oh my God. Good. Yeah. That's, thank you, man. Thanks no, for doing that. No problem, man. Like, it's, uh, I, uh, but I, I have to, I owe you an apology. Why? Because, like, a few months ago when I was like, hey, you want to do the interview? You're like, yeah. no, nah, I'm busy. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I threw I was little, very busy. Yeah. I threw a little shade, and I was like, oh, well, fucking fine, whatever. And yeah. then, and, and now, but here's the thing: you have to keep in mind, everybody, almost everybody, has a podcast, right? Everybody, one everybody and has a two. We yeah. haven't really like met. We never met. That never that's met. two, right? Right. Uh, so if you were to say yes to every person telling you to do their podcast, yeah. while you don't have time to do the one you do yourself. It's that's a tough thing, right? Oh man, uh, that was it. It was nothing personal against. No, me. I no, like, no. Oh, I, I, oh, I, I, don't, I don't even have time enough to uh, to do the one I do with my mom. You know. Oh yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know, and the thing was like after after I threw the shade, I was like, shit, that was that was a dick move. Oh. And like, and then after that, I was like, you know, listen, I was like, listen to your stuff, and I was like. And I got really excited about your album. I was like, oh my gosh, this guy has an album coming out. Like, and you talked to like people like Kevin Hart and like Wanda. You work with Wanda Sykes, but th- tell me, the album is just like I said, it's brilliant. And like, I love, I love that your mom introduced you. I mean, your mom mm-hmm. clearly has a huge like influence Absolutely. as far as you know Absolutely. the direction you've gone. She's, she's actually the one who told me to tell you no. Really? Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, my mom is great, man. My mom is my uh, superhero. Is she? Yeah, yeah, for sure. She's my Superman if her kryptonite was communication. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Uh, I wanted her to introduce me because mm-hmm. all this wouldn't be possible without her. Right. And I don't think anyone has ever done that on an album. I thought no. that would be a nice touch. Yeah. I like adding a little bit of touches, you know. If you listen to all the way to the, uh, the end, there's actually... I, I did. The voicemail that she leaves me after the show. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Was that, was that directly after the show? Yeah, that is directly that after was, the show. That was, like, honestly, like... It, because I, I, I kind of figured it, but I, I kind of started, my eyes started welling up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like, this is a great way yeah. to land that plane, you know? You know, I, I, I bitch and moan about my mom a lot oh, on yeah. the show. She's a typical neurotic Jewish mother, um, mm. which, you know, she, like... Uh, You're telling me we're breaking barriers right now? A we Jew are, and an Arab? Absolutely. Oh, like, and I don't know, I don't, here's the thing. My mom is, like, she's... Let's just say she wants to make America great again. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's really like, for a Jew, ah, forget yeah. Jewish people can uh, Jewish people. That's so it's <laughs> yeah, heard of like Jews. They're whatever. conservative by nature sometimes. Some sometimes, but I I mean, really little sometimes. Yeah? Like yeah. I mean, most, you, should, you know what you should do? You should give her our podcast. Me and my mom. Maybe I, that'll I'm you know win her over. <laughs> I, you know what? Honestly, I, I'm looking forward to actually having her listen to it because, no, I mean... No, for real. That's why I did that podcast is one of the big reasons is, you know, the narrative of what Muslim people are, what Muslim women are is is not controlled by this the actual people. Right. It's controlled by the news who just wants, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, you know, wants your attention so I can sell you some ads, you know, right. people with agendas. So it's a very in-depth, like... You know, just individuals talking about their experiences, yeah. and we get really in detail of how this new regime is affecting us. Yeah, and, and yeah. absolutely. And uh, yeah, I just and when this is this is an example of my mom for you. Okay, like my wife and I were we've been trying to have, start a family. We were going to adopt. We were about to adopt an African American in a Native American child, right? Sorry, an African American, Native American child. Yeah. So a bit mix of both. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And my mom goes, "Oh my God, think of how many casinos she'll be able to get us into." And I was like, "That's just making a joke." Oh, I don't know. She, she, like my mom is like. No, she sounds like a, a, a corny joke. Yeah. I don't think that's. I don't know. I don't think that's a hateful comment. That <laughs> sounds like a yeah. corny joke. 
My mom, my, my, yeah, I don't know. Well, but, uh, so here's the deal. Like, so, um, I was, so bacon. So, so you're saying my mom is better than yours. Is that what the, your mom the, is the conclusion? Probably way better than the conclusion. Mine. Okay. I'll I mean, it. although <laughs> my, my mom, my, you heard it here. My, my mom is way better than you. I will say this though. My mom actually like to a certain extent is also, Despite her mis- my misgivings with her, she's That's also a mom, nice dude. She loves you, man. Yeah, she loves me. I mean, she carried you for ten months. What else do you want? Well, when I was seven, I contracted an autoimmune uh, disease called Guillain-Barré syndrome, which I- paralyzed me from the head down. Wow. Yeah. So, um, is, it, is it still in effect? I got. I still got ah, braces on. I had like, crazy, man. like eight surgeries on my feet. I was wow. like, I had to go through physical therapy, and my yeah. mom pushed me. Which she was like a yeah. drill sergeant. Went a, went a little too far a few times, getting yeah. me to 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 where I am now. But um, but yeah, I mean, the word the one thing she always instilled in me is the word uh, is this sentence, this phrase is can't is not in your vocabulary. The mm. word can't is mm. not in your vocabulary. That's why you asked me a second time to do the podcast. That's right, <laughs> exactly. No, I uh, full circle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I and uh, I just. Yeah, I mean, I, I just... Sh- I share that with you, too. Yeah, my mom is very, like, you can do anything type of person. Yeah, yeah, and the, exactly. And, like, my mom, she... It's weird. Like, I would... She's gotten to this point in her age where she stopped. She won't curse anymore, right? Mm. But, like, my mm. podcast, I say fuck mm. all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. Just, She's like, I don't curse, but I will vote for Trump. Yeah. That's yeah, a good yeah. mix. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, one is more damaging than the other. Yeah, right? right? And, like, so she, yeah. like, but, like, she'll listen to it and she'll be like, it, you know, there is, at least, sometimes she'll be like, she, she doesn't mind when I say it on the, on the show, but then there are times where I'll say it, like, literally a string of fucks and then she'll just be like oh how and i'm like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so tell me i mean you're yes. you're from yemen right yes, yeah. and uh so i mean who were your i i mean who are your heroes i mean as far as i mean aside from you my mom and <laughs> my and, wife and bacon bacon and, yes yeah. we'll get to bacon in a little bit yeah yeah uh heroes like well like yeah. No, seriously, my mom would be it. My right. mom. There's right. no one stronger than uh, stronger, and, and no, there's no one who's done okay. more for me than my mom. Uh, if we want to talk about like influences, p- influences. But yeah. the thing is, really, people that are really that you really admire almost scare you than more than influence you. Does yeah. that make sense? If you look at Chappelle, every time I see Chappelle on like uh, specials or whatever. Yeah. I don't go, man. I, I I can do this. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, oh God, what a! How can anyone reach that what level of mastery? Yeah. But if you see them early on, you can find like clips early on, Chappelle early on, yeah. Burr or whatever, who, who you into, and you can see that it, it is work and time that got yeah. them there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm very influenced uh, honestly by the people around me. Yeah, you know, there's a guy named Greg Coleman who's a comedian who's super funny. He's in the scene. There's a guy named Ahmed Khalaf. Like these guys, just seeing how funny they are okay. always helps me go, yeah, I got to keep keep staying sharp, keep keep working hard. Like yeah. these are the people that really influence me on a day-to-day basis yeah, when, I mean, when it comes to comedy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you've got to, I mean, I'm sure, I mean, I mean, you, if I, it seems like all of you as far as comedians have, you kind of almost have a click. Like I interviewed Khadija Cooper yeah, uh, I love a Khadijah. while back and oh, Tim Smezrut. She's on my show tomorrow. Is that right? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, it, 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 it's I really love picking the brains of, of stand-ups, you mm-hmm. know, because I did stand-up about five times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, you know, I, I I did okay about four out of the five times. One of them I just... Let me, let me correct you. Okay. You were horrible all five times. Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, right. <laughs> that's, well, a, well, well, that's, that's why you find out on your eighth time. <laughs> They find out that oh, I'm really bad at this, and this is very hard. Yeah, you know what I mean. I can't even. The talk stand up is so mic. hard. Yeah, so it, stand up is. is not something you can do five times and be good at. Right. You may get a laugh. I'm not saying you didn't get a laugh. Oh, yeah. those four times. I was but too, you were bad at I it. I guarantee bad, you, yeah. you were very bad at it. And I could, I would love to do it again, but like I have generalized anxiety disorder, and so but the thing is, that's probably part so. Of do this. I, baby boo? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't stop you. Boy, it doesn't it. stop you. Yeah, I, I had pa- panic attacks. I used to have extreme panic attacks. Yeah. I was, uh, I had, um, uh, what do they call? 
Is it agoraphobia where you can't leave the house? Yeah, agoraphobia. I was, yeah, sure. I was de- developing that. I was leaving. I was panicking twenty four seven. Did you take anything for it? I didn't take anything. All right. Uh, well, the thing that got me out of it was stand up. Actually, I went to Acme really? and I did a set, and I felt okay for five minutes. Yeah. And I knew I can increase that five to six, seven, eight, nine, ten until I that's just, amazing. Yeah. Until I got back to normal. It still makes me anxious here and there. Yeah. Depends on depending on the vibe. But You're that's probably not doing it right. Not now. an it excuse. Yeah, it's not an excuse, man. Yeah. I, uh, you know, and that's the thing, like, I, I just, I really, I, like, the, I think my biggest problem among being horrible <laughs> yeah, yeah, which, is that my, like, in every single video of me doing stand-up that my wife took of me. Well, that's a, that's the biggest mistake, too, is like you don't record yourself. That don't, early. don't record yourself? Oh, my God, that's, yeah, that's early, too early, you are. Terrible? You know, Terrible idea? Yeah, because you're so nervous and uncomfortable because it's, you know, you're in front of people. Yeah. Um, the and, and of, doing something that's uh, very hard, yeah. And you getting taped in front of uh, that's tough, man. Yeah, like I have, I taped my first time, and that tape is like my porno. Like if, if it gets out, it would be, I would be so embarrassed. <laughs> it's your, it's your, it's yeah. your yeah. Tommy. Yeah. And, and, and I was getting, and I was getting laughs throughout the thing. And yeah. Laughs are, a laughter is one metric of how good of a comic you are mm-hmm. it's not it's not the metric okay you need it but it's the quality of laugh okay were you original were you authentic was he were these good jokes did they represent you in a way yeah. and blah 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 there's so many elements to stand up that makes you good yeah and you cannot impossible 100 percent impossible to be good at it five times in a row or that first year you're still figuring out this thing it takes about five years when you actually go oh I'm, I'm, I think I'm learning well, how to well, shit, to man. be authentic <laughs> and shit. Yeah. yeah that yeah. Uh, yeah I well I mean then that's the thing like I I made it well I mean in my mind my success for doing it yeah. is I made a few families leave <laughs> like leave, like the, it was at a coffee it was at the coffee hag you made people leave I made I made families leave like why it, because it was at a coffee shop yeah, okay. uh, and it was at eight at eight p.m. in a coffee shop, and sure. like these people brought like their kids and so. Yeah. And I was kind of like, and they left, and I was kind of, like, I kind of took that as a badge of honor, but maybe not now no, that you're talking. Fine, it's fine. You're not. You're awful. You want to, <laughs> They don't want to be around that. <laughs> you want to be captivating. You want to yeah. maybe challenge them. Like they're like, like, you're, like they're walking out on your open mic set. You were yeah. you had a bad set, my friend. Yeah, I was even yeah. at an because I'm a recovering uh, addict. Uh, yeah. I was at an. Uh, I, mean, I don't mean to be harsh, by the way. Oh I'm no, 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 very no, honest I'm not person. Bring it. Uh, like no, I. <laughs> I was at a Narcotics Anonymous. Were you? Uh, Holy shit! What kind of drugs? Um, I was I was into cocaine, uh, cocaine, weed. Uh, I was kind of a what you can what you but got kind not, of guy. Those are not that bad. We I mean coke is is bad. Pretty but bad, it's, yeah. It's not, but it's not like crack. It's not like no. I, it ain't. It I ain't didn't, like I didn't, meth. Have yeah. you done meth? Maybe. Maybe you pause. Okay. Have you <laughs> heroin? No. That's an. Idiot. I was offered it once, and that, like it was. It, there's actually a funny story that goes with it. Like my friend was like, "Hey, you want to do some heroin?" And I was like, "No." He was like, "Oh, come on. Here, I just used. It, I just used the needle. Here, just use this. Use it." Really? And I was like, "Now I, I definitely don't want to do it." Like, oh my god. I, yeah. I mean, I was, That's I was offered funny. it, and then I was like, and then he was like, "Hey, let's share a needle." I was like. Okay, I'm, I'm 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 taking off now. That, that's my official cue to leave. That's funny. That's I have st- as a drug addict, I had standards. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You want <laughs> you want the good stuff. Uh, so weed, you consider that like a problem? I don't smoke. I, weed, by the way. Well, here's the thing. I I don't. Uh, here's the thing. It's really funny that you mentioned it because I've been like thinking about it a lot. Like I've been mm. thinking, I, I was okay with weed. Like I I love. Does I, the wife smoke? No, no. Is she, she like against it hardcore. She, well, her dad is an is is a, is a drunk, and, uh, and uh, she so that's a really bad, bad taste from it. Yep. All right. Uh, I don't even I don't drink either. Um, mm. Recovering alcoholic, so you know, like, so yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, I go to meetings, at not as many as I should, but yeah. like, but it's just really funny. Like sometimes I won't. Obviously, may, name names and because it's mm. you know anonymous, obviously. But mm. you know, a lot of the times I'll test some of my like my material like in really? the meetings. Like I'll I'll kind of incorporate. Mm. What's your material? Is it about your addiction then? Yeah, I mean, some of it's about addiction. Some of it's about our infertility. You know, our okay. inability to have children. My, our 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 you know like having to you know 
do like you know sperm don't you know sperm counts you know mm-hmm. like having to go into the room and that's fine you know yeah so that's we we do that and um you know and i and i talk about the one thing that you know the doctors say is like you gotta have like you gotta masturbate like all the time you mm-hmm. know to build a sperm count mm-hmm. up right and yeah. so you know when it becomes a chore like when they basically say you have to do it and your wife is basically, hey, did you? Your my wife is will like call me from the other room of the house. Hey, Al, did you masturbate today? And I'm like, God right. damn it, no, yeah. I didn't. No. But, yeah, it's exactly what you do when you start. You do masturbation material. I, <laughs> which is the lowest grade of jokes. It is. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. No, I. Well, it, it, I love that you wanted to like test the actual joke. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. You're I, like, oh yeah, I see. You think it's bad, but wait a second. Let me slide this joke in. <laughs> And see what you're gonna think. It's horrible. Yeah. It's still horrible. Yeah. So <laughs> it's all about jerking off. Yeah. No. You know. And the and the and that was that was that was the cue for the family. Yeah. <laughs> there, there you go. That's funny. That's like funny. it was Do like you, an earwax. Yeah, I mean, obviously, or... they're kids. You know, it was a good a good skill where you, you you would have when you're a good comic mm-hmm. um, is you can assess the situation. Mm-hmm. No, you're going to be like, oh, there's a kid in there. Yeah. You know, it's an empathy. You're like, all right, maybe I shouldn't talk about masturbating. In front yeah. of kids. Or I can make it, do it in a way that it's winnable. But masturbation is just, you know, it's like a low hanging fruit type of thing. Is know? that right? All yeah, right. That's my. Uh, well, that's I was going to say, like. It's my deal, you know. No, totally. I and and that's the thing. Do like, you regret saying you can roast me off the top of the show? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, <laughs> I, like I said, I I am my own. On a scale of one to ten, how how much do you hate me right now? Uh, one. One. Perfect. Yeah. That's good. No. That's like honestly, like response. this is this is. I've been waiting for this show for oh, a long man, time. Thank you, so, dude. Thank you. What's up? So and I and I and I knew that it was gonna be a roasty because you're you know you're I'm a comic you're, man. You're I, and I'm 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 brutally honest. That's a problem. Yeah. No. I, yeah. And, and uh, yeah. And I, I also love stand up a lot. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of stand up as a craft. Yeah. And one of my pet peeves is people don't understand how hard it is to be good at yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So right. I, I always try to like let people know, like, yeah, yeah, this is not easy. It's not easy doing this at a decent level. It right. takes a lot of dedication. Mm-hmm. Takes a lot of work. Takes a lot of self exploration. Like, I mean, like this week. You know what? By tomorrow, I will be doing eleven shows since Monday right. to Saturday. Right? Yeah. Uh, written for hours. Right. Like, it puts a lot, I put a, you know, a lot of work into it, and it's not, not, it's not even enough if you go to New York and stuff like that. So, that's, that's, that's what I try to let people know. You, if you want to do this, you got to put in the work and right. you gotta understand how difficult it is. And, and yeah, I mean, I just. Being funny is easy. Right. Being a stand up is hard. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. You can be funny at the office, you can be funny at the barbecue. That's, you that, know, and making can people laugh is, 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 you know, it's a skill that a lot of people can just develop or have or whatever. Mm-hmm. But being a stand up, that's a different animal, man. Yeah. You know, and that's and that's another thing. Like I, my ability here, this mic is. I just totally touched the mic, which is gonna fuck it up. But anyway, uh, like I can like like talk on this mic, yeah. right? Because it catches everything. But like every single video that my wife took of me, like my she would like scream for the audience, how. Yeah, the mic is too close. Or how the mic is too far. Yeah. So like that. Yeah, yeah. And you don't. You're, you're too nervous. Exactly. You're too nervous. You don't even. You're so in the moment and nervous that you're not yeah. thinking. That's what I'm saying. That's the difference between like someone who does right. it professionally. I can look at my watch. I can know where the mic is. I can see everybody's face in the audience. I can like, have all this stuff you're awareness like on stage. Spidey sense. Because not it's not a spidey sense. It's just because I didn't. I've done it long enough where yeah. I have that level of comfort. Right. This, you know, I put in the work. You know, I didn't have that my first five times. Really? Yeah. I had yeah. No idea. I was. I used to actually be scared about, um, like using the stand mm-hmm. because I like nobody shows you how to use the stand. Yeah. And I'm I, like, there's not a YouTube tutorial for this, and I don't want to like figure that out on stage because like a second on stage when you start feels like an hour. hour. And yep. just and everything feels like a huge mistake. So yeah, just you know, just, just gotta keep doing it lots until you get comfortable, man. Yeah, I um, uh, yeah, no, it's just uh, let's 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 move, let's like lighten things up a little bit. So, oh, so was ba- that was that heavy? I'm sorry. No, not at all. But I I wanna I wanna address bacon. 
Because sure, we man. Talk, because bacon. that was so. so I don't want to talk about bacon during the month of Ramadan, but for you, I'll make an exception. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be talking about bacon, period, because oh, no, Jews fine. don't well, eat bacon. Oh, yeah, period. that's, you know, but it's delicious. Have you ever tried it? I, I'll tell you what, my wife, literally, I love, I've, I've eaten bacon all yeah. my life. Yeah. My wife converted to Judaism uh-huh. be- way before she met me, so it wasn't like, you know, she's like, oh, I love you, I'm going to convert her. You yeah, know, yeah, like, she's yeah. like, fuck you, I can, I can. Telling me the hat didn't solve her? The, the, no, the hat, actually, no, the hat probably would have, like, that's it would have been, uh, yeah, it would have. Yeah, no, push through. Um, but no, uh, I've been eating it all my life. But my wife, that's like the one thing she gave up. Like she'll, mm. still, you know, but she gave up bacon, and she will not let me kiss her if I've eaten bacon. Really? I mean, I, it's it is kind of a. a I mean, porks are disgusting. You know, as a, as a, as an animal. Yeah. One of the worst animals. You know? It is. And then I, I don't what know if you it? have some uh, like animal rights people listening. Uh, I stand by my statement. I will not apologize. Uh, they're nasty and maybe that's the agenda that was like installed in me as a kid you know yeah. I mean they're like oh they eat their poop they did it I mean you know I, dog does so, that too so do I. Dogs wait are no not poop but... but I don't eat dogs you know <laughs> um, but yeah but I think something about pork it's uh, it, like I don't eat like pork ribs I don't eat like pork shops yeah. But bacon, the bacon. way the way bacon is made is so yeah. crispy and delicious. It's delicious. Yeah. And I, mean, I never I don't go off my way to order it, but yeah. if I you know, if it happens to be there, I'll dabble. That's sort of how and, I feel and, about cooking you know that, meat. You know what that you know what that means? <laughs> That Wait. means when you post this podcast, you cannot tag me because if my mom listens to this, she'll be upset. Okay, I will yeah. not. I, I will not. <laughs> Unless you edit this part out. I will. No, I won't tag you. I mean, yeah. because here's the thing. I, I, I don't think I can tag you. I can put, you know, I this is my podcast. Oh, yeah. Without, it's yeah. great. Yeah, great. Yeah, but... Yeah. Um, my mom, if she finds this out, her heart will be broken. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Even she's, the, very, she's very, the, the, she's very uh, big on not eating bacon. Not eating bacon. Okay, that's All the right. last straw. That's my. That's how her only hope is. I still don't yeah. eat bacon. Yeah, I haven't kissed my wife in like nine years. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Really? Wow. No, I, I, I do eat. I eat bacon, and like usually, what I'll do is see. That's a good one liner. If you say, you know, my wife wouldn't kiss me. Um, unless uh, if I eat bacon and then you give it a little pause and you go, I haven't kissed my wife in nine years. That's a that, dope one liner. I was, I was, See, I was, real I life was is hoping funny. that you'd like that one. Real I was life is funny. About that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, and uh, no, actually, what's really funny is that I will, she'll give me like a big kiss right before we start mm-hmm. and then. I'll eat it and she's like, yeah, fuck you, you're, you're, you're done. That's funny. She, and then like, she I, re-ups on the cushion. She, then, yep, uh, and then she, uh, then I, I go home, first thing I do is I'll go run upstairs, brush my teeth, wash my face, and then we're good yeah, again. You do it. Oh, I fun. used to keep a spare toothbrush in my car. Like, it was mm. like a crack pipe. It was like, I used to keep like a spare toothbrush and toothpaste in my car. Mm. And that way I, I, I used know. to do that when I was smoking behind my girlfriend. Same here! I did yeah. that too. When I, yeah. yeah. So, right. Yeah, and it's really it's just it's amazing what you can fit into your glove compartment these days. So, but uh, yeah, so I gotta ask. So, what was it like? I mean, when you were talking with Kevin Hart, because I watched the video. Yeah. I mean, how was? I mean, was that nerve wracking? I mean, what was that like? Uh, was it just another another guy? I mean, I, obviously nerve wracking. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna like pretend that I was nervous. I was extremely nervous. Yeah. Uh, but he was so humble and just a comic, and I saw the comic in him rather than the superstar. Yeah. And that kind of put me at ease. You know, he was a very gentle spirit and just very he's nice like, dude. Super fucking like, good. Seems like I don't know guy. why people hate Kevin. He's one of the. He's super funny, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and just like a positive force of energy. Like, Is that yeah, right? yeah, yeah, great man. And yeah, man. Uh, I mean, I, mean, I was more nervous because of the like the settings around it. Sure, like, Comedy Central is very intense. There's like fucking uh, twenty cameras. There's like forty people in production. Right. It was very intense, like the production right. people. And you feel very small when you see all these moving parts, and they're not even looking at you. They're like right. trying to get this big machine to roll. 
and then they tell you, hey, you need to talk. If you don't talk, yeah, they're going to pull you off the show. And you're like, oh, that makes me feel very comfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's intense, man. Intense, intense stuff. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I, I think it went well. Yeah. Uh, and I wasn't worried about the set, the standard part. I was like, I'm comfortable with that. I'm, I'm prepared for that. But yeah. talking to you in an interview is intense. Yeah. 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 How am I doing so far? You're doing great. You're awesome. doing amazing. Yes. You're doing right. amazing, man. You're here's the thing. You're my fifty fifth episode. Oh my god, you have more episodes than my podcast. So who's uh, your favorite so far? Um honestly It's a trick question. It's a trick if, question. You should say you. you <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, honestly, like I, I don't I'm trying to think They're all like your babies, you know. <laughs> they they really are, but there's this one stand up comic, her name is Elsie Abrahamson, and uh she I she I think she's my favorite only because like it felt like I was just hanging out with a friend you know what I mean like it, mm. it was very natural it was very nice and she plus my dog didn't try to eat her uh, my dog is a special needs dog be, like he was he was like a, really abused when we be, before we got him and which I don't understand how people can do that to, mm. like, to an animal and yet, so whenever people come over he just wants to kill them because he thinks they're we're his saviors he mm. thinks everybody's out to kill us and he really and unfortunately our dog is also fairly racist he <laughs> how does that and what does that it's, mean it, it, well here's the thing like people who are darker skin brown ah. skin black, you know, or African American like uh-huh. he seems to have a problem be much more is he, is he a rescue he is Ah, maybe his previous owner was like a racist. That well, that's the thing. That I could think. be it. Could be. You know, I didn't even know that was a thing until like one time I was walking, yeah. you know, just walking on a sidewalk, and then uh, I see a lady with a dog, and I, I always try to like I go off my way to greet dogs. Yeah. Just trying to build some good PR for Muslim yeah. people to let them know that we like dogs. Too. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, and I love dogs personally, and mm. I was like petting the dog and whatever, and then she goes, "That's so great." He doesn't. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to get him to. I'm trying to get him used to black people. That's what she said to right. me. Which I was like, "What? This is the craziest thing I've ever heard." <laughs> but apparently, yeah, that's a thing. Where it starts. Yeah, I, one of my guests, uh, Ferdosa Jama, uh, she uh, ran for a seat on a uh, government uh, position. Hmm. Uh, but she was on my show. She, like one of the stipulations to be on my show, she was like, "You got to put the dog away." She was like, "Yeah," because she's from. I believe she's from Somalia. Uh, really. Yeah, 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 she yeah. is from Somalia. Yeah, 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 I think it's a religious thing too. I think uh, I was taught when I was a kid. What's that? What's sorry, that? that's my that's my Velcro. Oh, sorry. that's good. No, no worries, no worries at all. Uh, I was taught as a kid that um, it, it it impures your. There's a thing called wadu, which is you, before you pray, you have to cleanse yourself physically. You got to wash your hands, feet, mouth, ears, all that okay. stuff like that. And that's a part of Islam. Before you pray, you have to be cleansed because you're about to like. You know, connect with God or whatever, right? right? right. So the yeah. the the and I could be wrong about this, but what I was taught is the dog saliva uh, impures your your wadu. Oh wow! So that's why people I didn't. Don't. I had no idea. But that's where I started, and then it just kind of rolls into <laughs> like people's mm-hmm. ignorance or added to it, and it rolls to this crazy thing where it's like, no, you don't touch a dog at all. You know, and people take it to right. an extreme. Uh, either ways, dogs are dope. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, dog. I, I yeah. mean, I my yeah. my wife hates my cat, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, my girl hey, hates cats too because she's uh, allergic, and also she, I guess she made a good point. I never thought about it this way, but she said uh, cats, you know, they take a poop and then they like sit on that. Like you know, they sit on the poop, <laughs> right. they play kind of almost. You know, their feet is they're playing around, infested with, it. with poop. It's like a sandcastle yeah. of poop. Yeah, and it makes sense. And then they get on the couch and whatever. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. You know, like I, I I've given that some thought too, which is really sad because that. Why am I thinking about that kind of shit? But like, oh, like <laughs> I'm thinking about masturbation, might as well. Um, Damn, got you again. Got you again. Yeah, professional. Well, that's talking. the thing. Like, like. Master, like, oh God, I, I shouldn't talk about masturbation as much. You should as I do. not, not if your mom is listening to this. Oh, does she listen to your podcast? Uh, she, li- I, she listens to the episodes that I allow her to listen to. Ah, so you kind of like, be like, this one is a good one. Yeah, this one's a good one. Like, yeah. I mean, there, there have been a few episodes. Like, uh, she, she, I had one episode where I referred to her as a neurotic Jewish mother, and uh-huh. like, she got, she was like. I mean, you did that today too. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? And I Seems just like to be a theme. I, it is, and but it's true. Like, yeah. I, like, 
she's you know she's there. There's a stereotype out there. there is, yeah. She she's that like she, you know it's sort of like that whole you know the stereotypical you know Catholic mother you know what I mean mm. but it's just it's, she's Jewish instead. It's like mm-hmm. you know laying on the Jewish guilt thick you know and but no I mean I uh, yeah, but as for me like I just I uh, my. Like I said, my mom. I, I love my mom. Of course, you do. You know, man. I Nobody do. And, uh, that. But she, you know, like I said, she's got her hang. You know, she, every mom, just like everybody, I'm sure she's she's got her prejudices. You know, of course. And, yeah. And uh, it's Mo- just, moms are like, you know. <laughs> well, the first time she ever met my father-in-law, right? Who's uh, what? Uh, what's that? Okay. Who? What? What, what was? The, what's the ma- race of your father-in-law? Uh, is white. He's white, okay, yeah. but like Catholic or something. Uh, he, uh, he's an a- he's atheist, completely okay. atheist. Okay, but he's a he's he's very much a bleeding heart liberal, if you want to use that phrase. Um, mm. And my mom, the first time they ever met, oh yeah, yeah, the first time they ever met, my mom referred to like they were talking about. I don't know if, what they were talking about. And my mom, we somebody said uh, she referred to the civil rights movement in the sixties as oh that whole black thing. <laughs> and I and I like literally like I I may have shit my pants at, at, at a little bit at that moment. Yeah, that's funny because like I, like I'm just like okay, so let me just get this straight. You just boiled like thousands of years of like persecution and and like then another you know whole decade yes and plus yes. you know where we are now right. into oh that whole black thing like yeah yeah and yep. I and I just like yep. I just. Uh, that's that's sort of like my this, this podcast feels like you're you know secretly just want to bash your mom. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe, this is maybe this podcast should be called "Mom, I Got a Problem with You." Uh, well, no, that's no. fine. Of course, it affects you. I see why you would. Know. Yeah, no. Uh, actually, I actually figured out an, uh, the title for this uh, episode. For this episode yeah. What is it going to be? It's not bacon, is it? No, it's absolutely not bacon. It's it's the Sultan of Zing. The Sultan of Zing? There you go. You know, because, you know, Babe Ruth is the Sultan of Swing. Oh, Zing, Swing. There we go. If anyone gets that, that reference, the, even funnier and more cool. I get yeah, it. it was either that or the Sultan of Comedy. The Sultan of Comedy would be too much. I would never want to be called that. Yeah, I'm that's, not, that, that's, I'm not I thought it was really comedy. much. I thought I didn't want to, I didn't want to just, boost you too much. Just so. a newcomer, buddy. Yep. So, um, so as far as like, um, you know, so, to a certain extent, some of your comedy, like, and this is this is a comment because I think yeah. it's funny. It, it reminds you a little bit of Yako Smirnoff. Do you, you ever? No, you know, it doesn't. You it's, know? Not, it's not even in uh, in, 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 in the same so? vein, dude. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm not up there being like, it's, what a great country yeah. in Russia. And I'm not doing that hack stuff. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. How dare you? How dare you call I me know. that? I know. Maybe I should have. That's that's the craziest thing I've ever. Really? No one has ever. <laughs> no one has ever did uh, I hurt your feelings? No, not at all. I like him uh, uh, personally. I like yeah. the guy. He's, a, he's an adorable fellow, but we're not alike in any way. No. Yeah, I'm an authentic voice. Like, my stuff is personal to me. Well, good. You know. It Mike's, should be. Mike, sp- you, you can make the correlation that me and him were immigrants of this yeah. country. But that's just such a small aspect of the, right. of yeah, the no, thing no. that doesn't, you know, right. that does not. I'm in no disrespect by that. No, no, I, I don't take it as disrespect, but I will tell you that I'm, we're not like. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he had a shtick. I don't, I don't, I'm not up there saying, Yemen doesn't play, play, you know what I mean? Well, no, what the country? Yeah, what the country? That's yeah. just bullshit. I don't do that. I'm sorry. No, no worse. I'm sorry. No, no worse. But I will, I, will, oh, I love on. people's, I love when people say something that has thought and merit. So yeah. why do you think uh, I remind you of him? And maybe, maybe you can sway me. Yeah, uh, well, honestly, I think because, I mean, they, you, I mean, just the, I don't know, just how the whole, like, going, eating, ba- you know, learning to, Bacon, you know, just like, and then going to Walmart, and you know, like how it was in back in your country, like there was like a like a little sure, like yeah. showing the contrast between yeah, exactly what's here and there. But yeah, that's well, that's a small element of the album. Yeah, right? that's just one yeah. I mean, and, right? and that's and you know, and I certainly don't want to, and, and you know, 
did you know yeah deduce you to to, to uh, yeah that's a like small a, did you listen to the, the full thing yeah. every single bit sure yep so the, there's some elements you mm-hmm. saying like the contrast between two mm-hmm. things yeah exactly. you could have the uh, Kumail Nanjiani he does similar things and I feel like yeah. where I'm more in the vein of Kumail than, yeah, yeah. Wow. than yeah. some eighties comic <laughs> <laughs> some eighties comic who used to appear on like Saturday yeah. and I, well questions. again I love the dude loved him but and he had his thing and he had his shtick but that's that's not do you um, how old are you if I'm asked 30 oh god I'm, I'm fucking older than you man no, I'm like I, I feel so old I'm 30 yeah, I'm, th- I'm, a, I'm immigrant 30 I'm from Yemen so I'm about 85 right now <laughs> high mileage 30 yeah, yeah the, the as far as this podcast goes I mean I, I mean I, I like to think that my the influence for me uh, I was I was a lot crankier when I first started this podcast. I mean, I, I had a lot more shit going on in my life, that, sure. and I needed an outlet. But like Mark Marin, uh, yeah. is like I've opened for him. Yeah. Did, what? Yeah, yeah, I've opened for him. Are you fucking kidding yeah. me? It's, Super fun. Yeah, I mean, I watched for him. He actually gave me a shout out on WTF. D- is that right? Yeah, yeah. I love. See, I listen. I do listen to WTF. Mm-hmm. I have I, I, you know, I. Actually, my, I'll tell you a fun story about that. I want to hear it. Um, so we worked together at Acme, and I like love him too. So I was watching sets and stuff. Mm-hmm. I gave him a tag for a bit. Yeah. That he was in. He's closer. I give him a tag, and then that happens. He goes back to LA. Life goes on. I go to LA. I'm at the comedy store, and I see him again. And I go, "Hey, Mark, what's going on? How you been?" He looks at me like he knew me, mm-hmm. but he was trying to remember. Right. And he goes, oh, you Al Franken? Is that how I met you? I'm like, no, 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 I open for you. He goes, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you gave me that tag. Sometimes it works. That's all I said. <laughs> I was like, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I, he's just such a cranky Jewish guy. And that's, yeah. and that, and, and people. The narcissist. He, he, yes, he is. And I am too. Yeah, I, because I can see him. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, I, I mean, because this, like that's why this show is called Neuronymous. Because oh, it's is that what it is? My, yeah. my neuroses plus my mm-hmm. my addiction, Anonymous, you know? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's a combination of the two. That's but, great, dude. But yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I certainly would never, you know, put myself on the level of Mark Marin as far as. Podcast. Nobody, goes, nobody, nobody else would either. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. That's not a concern. <laughs> no, no, it's not. And uh, but you know, like this, I for, like it was just really weird because it, when I first started the show, I used I was actually got to the point where I was like having I had his cadence, like you know, you know, he has a very distinctive voice, and my wife was just like, "How? You're not Mark Marin. Just be you. Just be you." And like, I think the more episodes I've done. My like, my voice has become. I it's I. You can tell that it's genuinely me. It's not me trying to be somebody. You know, not trying to like have a podcast. Be a, have my podcast be like somebody else's. It's mm, just my own. Of course, you gotta make it your own, dude. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. and you know, and that's the thing. Like, people, that's why I don't want to sound like Smirnoff. You know I mean? <laughs> Sorry. Is that his name, Smirnoff? Yeah, go Smirnoff. Yeah, yeah. that's who I, it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be. Uh, Telling the, this uh, to a lot of people, like, it's yeah. okay. Let's this, let's. You know what? Can you actually act? Do you have the technology to, to play something on your podcast? Uh, yeah, I think so. Really? Uh, you should you should you should do a we should do a <laughs> you should do a bit from him and then a bit from my as a closer. That'd be fun. I, I can try it. Yeah. I can I can put on, try it. put on my alien bit and then put on his uh, whatever. And then, I'll try it. And then I'll, we let the people decide. I'll, All eight of your listeners can decide if I. All say eight of my. Oh my god! That's <laughs> you're you I'll, ma- no, asshole. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> I think we probably have this around the same amount of listeners. It's hard to get podcasts. It is. Uh, it is. And started, it, I like it. To be completely honest, when you yeah. said you realize I have a podcast, I, f- I was like, oh shit, he fucking does have yeah. a podcast. Because you asked me if you, uh, you, I wanted to watch you uh, do, do my intro. intros. I'm like, yeah. why would I? <laughs> why would I want to listen? Why would I want to see you do your intros? You know? Yeah. Uh, and yeah, man, it's hard, man. I like, commend you to be consistent. And how often do you do it? Like at a weekly? I, I really try and do. Do you one. have a set schedule? I. No. Like Fridays. Fridays is usually the day. Yeah. But a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll do like a solo episode where I just talk about what's going on in my life, you know? Mm. And like just kinda like go on a rant. Mm. And I like and I like and I mean it those seem to actually get more v- listeners than the ones with the, with the interviews. Yeah. yeah. Because 
and I don't know because you know a lot of my listeners. So, so you're, you're, you are a narcissist. I am <laughs> completely a narcissist. Like, so, yeah, when it's me by myself, my, a lot better. <laughs> no, I bring another. People. I w- my wife. Those. Those. The. This, I think. I think people listen to those the most because okay. a lot of there are listeners that are my friends. They're friends and they want to know more about you. They yeah, don't know us. My wife refuses to, for a long time refused to listen to my podcast. Really? Yeah. I like the wife was, a lot, by the way. What? I just like the energy of your wife. Just from what you said. Yeah. It just sounds like she just gives zero fucks and she gives zero <laughs> And she's it's, like a blunt real person. Oh god, yeah. yeah. She's, she's like, like agreeable and doesn't sound like Like that. honestly she curses more than me and that's mm-hmm. saying a lot. Like mm-hmm. she just more than your mom for sure, right? And yeah. This is this is an example of my wife, okay? Yeah. When she was living, in, I'm originally from Omaha, Nebraska. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, one uh, of the most boring states in the. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know if. Uh, hey, Omaha is the most is the biggest metropolitan area of Nebraska. It's the greatest That's, place to die from a tornado, isn't it? <laughs> just to get you off that boredom. <laughs> it is. It is. I'm just kidding. I drove by it. I never like seen it. Uh, seen the city or anything. Like yeah. That. Well, my wife, we were living together, and then, like the first day or so she found like, like these two giant acorns and she looks at me and she goes hey look at me and uh-huh. I was like what and she's like these are your balls that's right? funny and she goes see this that's the mantle that's and she funny. goes I got your balls on the mantle wow and she should be doing stand up she should be doing stand up uh, and the thing is like at when I got into recovery uh-huh. like when we moved she was just like you know what these are yours I'm giving you back giving mm, them back to you that's funny yeah that's super funny that's yeah, great that's a good start she's yeah she's uh, she's I would honestly go as far as saying she's she's probably my hero too she is? yeah she's yeah. been through it's not your mom it's her yeah, yeah I funny. mean happy wife happy life but they yeah. never say happy groom happy room do they oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, my wife is, I definitely say my wife is, is another hero of mine because, I mean, she, just the stuff she does with kids, you know? Mm. I mean, like, I just, What does she do? She's, a, like I said, she's a pediatric occupational therapist. and pe- wow. And people are, uh, when I, and I was talking about this in my last episode, pe- when I say occupational therapist, the people are, dumb people are usually like, oh, so they help you, she helps you, she helps them find jobs, people? And I'm like, No. That's not it. Mm, what are you? That's a weird con- you, conclusion to make. Are you an idiot? Off what, that what's name? wrong with you? Yeah, like, yeah. and so I'd uh, be like, no, she helps people basically learn how to do like life skills, like mm. you know, even as far as you know, wiping your own ass. You that's, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's rough. Yeah. It, yeah, I mean, and there, I mean, the kids and, and kids are very unpredictable. You know, kids are assholes too. Yeah, yeah. they they can be. Uh, but she works with a lot of kids on the spectrum, you know, autism spectrum and, mm. uh, you know, Down syndrome. And, but yeah, no, I mean, like I said, I, I work, I'm a mere customer service rep, you know, mm. for the monolith, which I will not, we never mention the name of the, Absolutely. the company. Understandable. Uh, but yeah, she, uh, like, I always think, say to her, like, like, your, I say to her, your job is so much more admirable than what I do. Yeah. And like, like yeah but you know like that's the thing like there are times where you know you just you know you just gotta be like you know what this is this is the place I'm in right now and some people have uh, you know the careers they chose and they enjoy it more than they do than I do and my my degree was in like I said journalism and I and I did the journalism thing for a little while and mm, I, that's great it, it it was great until it wasn't yeah <laughs> Like no, I used I used to write for an underground newspaper for a while uh, called the Omaha Pulp, which you know, like what's underground about Omaha, right? Hmm. <laughs> That's great. But uh, but no, I mean, like I said, I uh, you know, and and yeah, I just uh, I I love. I love doing this this podcast. Yeah, I mean, yeah, podcast and this fun. And uh, and like I said, I love having I love love having guests and yeah. especially stand up comics mm-hmm. because I love to pick their brain. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the thing is, you know, it's like they say: those who can't do teach, those who can't do podcasts. Yeah. But you can do. You mm-hmm. can do, and you do a podcast. So what's it like when you do a podcast? I mean, it's with your mom, right? Yeah. It's me and so mom. is it just? Is it just stories, basically? Uh, yeah, stories, and we have a couple of interviews there. We we try to get immigrants on and tell yeah. their story because you know we kind of exhausted yeah. ours. Uh, and then if there's like live events, 
stuff any big mm-hmm. changes in our lives we will have uh, just me and her talk about it it's very short 30 minutes long yeah. uh, very good really good shit anyone who's like listened to it really loves it yeah uh, and one of the fans of the show is the director of the Fringe Festival and she wants my mom to be the the, the uh, voice for it this that'd, be, that'd be awesome yeah, dude and, and it's gonna be on what an honor it's an honor, and it's going to be on their website, which gets 1.5 million views a year. Shit. So it's, I think, oh shit, is about to take off, baby. Yeah. So that's going to be great. You yeah, know that yeah. that is awesome. Yeah, it's a great podcast. It's vulnerable, informative, friendly. We have a great vibe between me and her, and you know. You guys have been through so much together. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, and separately. So it just yeah. it's a good one to. Do you? I enjoy. It. It's a passion project. I really didn't want anything out of it. You know. Yeah. But the fact that things were happening and we're getting some nice write-ups and stuff like that. Right, that's no, absolutely. Yeah. And you've, now, Give it a listen. It's called Stories with My Muslim Mom. Yeah, I was going to plug it. It's on it. iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, and Google Play, and other stuff. Hello, people. <laughs> and, uh, and my album, Happy to Be Here, is already out. Yeah. I, I, and my show tomorrow for the album release <laughs> is going to be at Sisyphus Brewing, 8 p.m. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna. I know you're, do, you're gonna do that, but I don't know. no, yeah, I no. can tell how much is bugging you, so I was like, I'm just not, no, no, not at all. <laughs> that's the thing. I, like, I it takes so much shit to bug, bug yeah. me. How long is your podcast though? Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes it goes. The longest episode has been yeah. an hour and forty four minutes. Oh my god, where are we at right now? We're at uh, 50, 55. 55? We should land this plane, baby. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, so no, I, I mean, like I said. Yeah. Love the album. Thank you. You're a really you. funny guy. I love. I have, and and that's one thing I didn't touch on real quick. Yeah. I love your. No, character. no rush, but I'm just kidding. You can take one as one of you, you. You've created this character. Was it Joe? Joe, Joe Mer- Freedom. Joe Freedom. Yeah. yeah. Joe Freedom. Yeah. And I'm just like I watched it and I I I nearly shit myself laughing. That's, it's just so yeah, funny. And then you. you brought out the other character. Yeah. 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 Misha. Yeah. 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 So, what? What? Guy, what an, I mean, what it, I mean, obviously the, the the probably the 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 whole country probably yeah yeah it was a, it was just a thing I thought of and wrote it one day performed it the next day and it was awesome it was a, I mean it's brilliant yeah, I mean it's really you. brilliant I, so I uh, it was fun doing it I was trying I to uh, I don't do it anymore but it was fun doing it <laughs> I was trying to get my wife to to my wife gets my really bad I kind of you know I know who influenced it Smirnoff I'm just kidding <laughs> I was gonna just bring kidding. that back it's hey we'll bring no, it back but thanks but, yeah thanks for watching that yeah, yeah and uh, well hey you know what I. Thanks for listening to the album. That means a lot. Thanks for driving two hours to be here. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I, I wouldn't have it. I, like I said, I, I, we could have done the Skype interview, but it just... Nah, this I, is better, man. This is way better. Yeah, like, I, I, I hope you had a good time. I did. I had a great time, and uh, sorry for talking about no, myself dude. way too much because no, I'm a No nerd. worries, I'm man. You're a narcissist. narcissist. I expected it. <laughs> You're sticking to the brand, baby. All right, man. Well, hey, thanks so much for being on the show. Hey, and we'll, uh, sh- we'll shake on it. We, we just shook hands. We just shook hands, yes. A we, Jew and a Muslim. There we go. Making a difference. Bridges, bridges. Bridges. bridges yeah, bridges, I got some so. rocks in here. Don't make me... <laughs> <laughs> All right, neurotics. That was Ali Sultan. And uh, we, we, uh, we had a really good time. And I am a complete narcissist. No surprise there. Uh, but you know what? We... Uh, and and he's definitely not not Yaakov Smirnov in any way, shape, or form, mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, yeah, we uh, you know we you know I'm Jewish, he's he's Muslim, and uh, yeah, we uh, we're all in this together, guys. We're all in this together, and we do it, and we do it one day at a time. Thanks, and uh, one day at a time, guys. Love you. Yes.